silk spells magic. It is synonymous with beauty, luxury and comfort. The art of silk making was invented by a Chinese queen by name Si Ling Ching 4000 years ago. Later, silk spread across the world through the famous Silk Road. Silk is produced by a tiny creature, an insect called silkworm. The mulberry silkworm Bombyx mori got that name from its food plant, mulberry. Silkworm, like all insects, has four distinct stages in its life cycle. They are egg, larva, pupa and adult moth. Silkworm is a monophagous insect. That is, it has only one food, the leaf of mulberry. Mulberry or morus is a tree. This is the flower of mulberry. It also produces sweet and nutritious berries which all of us like. The cultivation of mulberry and growing of silkworms is called sericulture. Mulberry is cultivated very systematically for this purpose by farmers. Stem cuttings are planted carefully in prepared soil. Mulberry grows very fast. Here is a mother moth preparing to lay eggs. A moth can lay 500 to 600 eggs. The eggs hatch after 10 days. The hatchlings are so tiny they are called ants. This is the magnified image of an ant. The young larvae are very hungry. They feed on mulberry leaves and grow very fast. Farmers make specialized silkworm rearing houses like this one for growing silkworms. Inside these houses, Wooden racks are placed on which they prepare a bed for the worms. Worms spend 28 days feeding and growing. During this period, they pass through five stages called instars. At the end of each instar, they shed their skin. This is the picture of a molting worm. At the end of 28 days of feeding, the worms get ready to spin cocoons. They are transferred to a specialized equipment called moundage for this purpose. It takes 48 hours for a worm to spin a cocoon around itself. After spinning the cocoon, the larva becomes a pupa and sleeps for 10 days. During this sleep, it changes itself into an adult moth. This process is called metamorphosis. On the 10th day, the adult moth emerges by penetrating the cocoon shell. Its saliva helps in dissolving the thick shell and making it unusable. If we permit the moth to emerge, we don't get silk. So we kill the pupa before it emerges. Farmers sell their cocoons in cocoon markets like this one. Reelers purchase cocoon from the farmers to reel out silk. Reeling is a highly skilled job. Cocoons are boiled in water to loosen the silk. Then the silk yarn is reeled out using reeling machines. The silk is bundled and sold to weavers for making silk cloth. The leftover pupa is a delicacy in many countries. The silk yarn is then woven in hand looms or power looms into beautiful fabric. Gold plated silk yarn is called zari which is used for decorating gilt work of saris, fabric etc. 
Thousands of cocoons are needed to make a sari. Next time you see a silk sari, remember the tiny silk worm and its sad story. Thank you.